Good evening. Uh, welcome back. We are here with London Sportive. Um, London Sportive is an upcoming sports organisation, I would say. Um, they've got, well, actually, they will tell their successes. But um, uh, one of the, the attachments I have is Ibrahim Khalil is one of our channel um, reporters as well, as well as a good friend. Um, and uh, he, he set up the, the, the organization from what I know, but I'll go ahead and introduce our guests first and they can actually uh, fill us in the gaps. Um, so first of all, we have here Franco, who's the um, assistant coach yep. and captain of the uh, football team. Yeah, yep, correct. Hello. Welcome on the program, Thank you. Franco. Thank you. And then we have here Shweb, who is the coordinator director of London Sportive. Yep. So welcome on the program, Shweb. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. And then we have Abu, Head coach of football. Yes. Welcome on the program. Well, Thank salam. You. Um, well let's talk about football because that's been flashing around on social media. You guys are in the cup final of the ILFL, um, ILFL, uh, um, cup. the Sunday, Sunday Cup yeah. that takes place, and, and you're playing against Bromley. So, and it's the first year that, from what I know, you, you guys yeah. are taking part. So, how did the journey, how was the journey? Were, were you there from the beginning of the season? Um, I signed in. November, so probably about bit. I already played about seven, eight games. Okay. Before, so I signed quite late on, midway through the so season. So who started at the beginning? Um, I started and Shiva started. Okay, so how do you just to, sorry? I've got to come no, back to you because I want to know how do you guys feel the transformation of the beginning to now? To see the team go from losing 17-1, 17-0, to actually pushing through and pulling through and winning games 7-1, 7-2, made a massive difference in. Um, our field of game as well, as everything as well, because we went from zero to hero kind of thing. How did it happen though? What, you know, what did you guys make changes? Uh, we made changes in, with regards to what players we took in. So we started look, scouting for players that could play and obviously we, we were looking to maintain a strong defence as well. And That's where that's Franco where come we, in. Sign yeah, um, my okay. to show the progress, especially since I came, I believe, the first game I played, we lost to a team 13-0, and then we played them about a month ago, and we beat them 6-1, and we played them off the park. So it just shows, in probably a space of three or four months, how losing to a team from 13-0 and how much we can change, and we beat that same team 6-1. Show what we've done. We worked hard. at first. The team that we had was still, we had a few players that never probably played football before, and we just thought the best way, first first year as a team get young players, players that want to play football, and then we're just bringing it in. And I brought some players, some of my friends, close friends that I know as well. And it's like, who would have thought first year as a football team, and we're in a cup, and we know teams that we played in the league, that they're wishing us luck, because they haven't played in a cup final in years, and they've been around yeah. for so long. And our That's first a great year, achievement, so to be honest. It's, it's, I, um, as when I came, <laughs> I didn't ever think we'd be in a cup final, especially, so well, like, we had a three-year plan. particularly you're beating, uh, in semi-final, you, you beat Stepney, uh, from what I know. Yeah. Am, I, am I right? Because I, the, I see these on social media, and I'm picking it up from there, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So it was Stepney, who's an established club, and Stepney have got a fantastic record uh, in this particular league uh, for years of winning the league itself. Uh, they're a very fantastic club as well. But um, but you guys are beating them in the semi-final this year. Yeah, that's that's a, a great achievement. It was brilliant. It was really good. I mean, it was. We always know it's going to be hard. Where we are in the league table doesn't really show the ability we have. We finished ninth, which is second bottom. But this year, turn of the year, we've only lost to one team, and that's Ace, who have won the league comfortably. So we've not lost to any other team in this this year so far. So. We definitely think we're up there with Stepney, and obviously, but Stepney, the heritage, the history, and whatever they have, it was really good to actually show our young squad that we can beat a team like that. So that was okay. really good. So, well, how are you guys uh, confident for the final? Well, Bromley's got a good record. They won it last year as well. What do you guys think? For the final, I mean, we um, we think we can take it. We can take them on. With, we can put a fight. We've put a fight before as well against Stepney. Um, Semi finals, we put a fight against them. We won. We're going to do the same thing, inshallah, with Bromley as well. I mean, that's the best thing. Yeah, we're, do, in it, we're in it to win it. It's yeah. a cup final, cup You are the underdogs, special. you've got nothing to lose um, at the end of the day, although you might not be underdogs anymore because you've beaten Stepney, so I don't know how people yeah, will look at it. Yeah, obviously in history and stuff like people yeah. are saying Bromley's the big team and that, but we believe what we got is good enough to hopefully beat them and we're not going to be too big-headed over anything like that. We're yeah. going to play our best, they're going to play our best and we let football decide the result. Yeah, so that's a good thing. That, that that that's really good. So where is the players from? Where where, where is all the players? Are they all Tower Hamlets based? We have players from North London, so it's not every, not everyone is from Tower Hamlets. All right. But the thing about our team, which I think is unique, is we've got seventeen different nationalities Brilliant. playing within our team. So we think ourselves to be 
a diverse team that has a lot of potential to do a lot of damage in football. Yeah. So, Shweb, tell us a little bit more about London Sportive then. So, I, I said I might be wrong, so because obviously I see Ibrahim Khalil's all the social media stuff. So, uh, you tell us how, how it started and, you know, why it started and what, what you guys are doing overall now. Um, to be honest, we started in, from two, 2012 with the cr cricket club, uh, Bernardo Cricket Club. We played... Um, Middle, middle six cricket league for about six six years, six six years from 2012 to 2016 17. Um, we, we won um, the middle six leg league twice, um, and then from two, 2017 we um, we kind of think, think think of going like big like uh, as in. Um, like playing a higher higher level division division of cricket and then um not just the cricket we, we wanted to uh, um do foot football badminton as badminton as well so um we started playing cricket in 2017 uh, we played in um NC NCO. um we've done really good we've uh, um we won uh, <coughs> we play, played uh, 10 10 games we um we, we won um all the all the games we were at the top of the, top of the league, so we did uh, really good in cricket, and then um, and then from 2018 we decided to get football football in, so we um, um, we got we we got um, um, Mister Nwai he's our um, manager he couldn't he couldn't come in today because um, yeah, he had some, he had some um, okay. other commitments uh, commi uh, other com com commitments, and then. Um, um, Abu, Abu, Abu by head coach. So we've um, they are the two um, two members we, we got to um, we got to start the football. And then um, Shahid 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 was there. Um, they helped us help, helped us um, build the football um, football uh, team. And, and then and cricket. Um, uh, Jackie okay. was running running the cricket. Jackie Jackie and Shahed, Muiba as well. Muiba, Muiba, uh, club sec secretary. He's doing, he's doing a um, good job, fantastic job. He's a, um, and then obviously Ibra Ibrahim Bai. He's, he's, um, he's, he's helping us a lot. Um, say, because of Ibrahim Bai, we're here today. Well, uh, we've got a caller online, so let's see. Uh, I think it might be a, a special caller. So let's, uh, let's see who's online. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Salam alaikum, Mr. Boy. Salam alaikum, How are you uh, doing? Ibrahim Khalil. Oh, there, there you go. I told you there's a special <laughs> pull-up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ibrahim. So, Ibrahim, how, uh, how, how are you? Just uh, give us an update. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, thank you. Cup uh, final. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm here to Amr al-Biwar, uh, most of Bangla. I'm here to Bangla. I'm here to background. Very good, very good. Amr al-Biwar, I'm here to Bangla, I'm here to Bangla, I'm here to Bangla, tournament <laughs> Yes, sir. After recently, I'm the I I in Ireland football league just after that. Liam Atmos, who is our Shuaib boy, who is Franco, our team captain, and Abu. After that, we are sure hard work. Kora, and in Ireland football league, who is to our after after Nizza Zanoni league, or one of our Shuaib boy, who is our first ever. The 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 কিন্তু টোটাল ব্যাডমিন্টন ফুটবল ক্রিকেট আমরা আসলে আমরা এক বছরে যতটুকু অ্যাচিভ করছি ইজ রিয়েলি আনবিলিভেবল যে আমি নিজেও বিশ্বাস করতে পারি না আমরা ওই লেভেলে অ্যাচিভ করলাম আশা করি আপনার শো সবার সহযোগিতা দরকার কমিউনিটির সহযোগিতা দরকার আমরা এই স্পোর্টসরে একটু ভাইব্রেন্ট করা আমরা কমিউনিটি আপনার সহযোগিতা দরকার মিস বাবাই আসলে আপনার কাছ থেকে অনুপ্রাণিত হয়েছি আপনার লগে অনেক দিন কাম করছি I like to encourage teams in a, within our community to go forward because 
there is thousands and thousands of uh, people that can take part. One team, two team is not enough. So when people create, well, just before we had the cricket, uh, London Cricket League, and it's a similar thing that I'm trying to tell them, that if you don't help teams start up, they're not going to start the next team. They won't start. The, you've started with one team. Who's to say? I mean, I had 28 uh, football teams at one time, uh, all, all from one borough, for, uh, from Westminster. Now I'm, I'm, okay. I'm starting in Southall, where I've got 16 teams, uh, or, you know, all, all the way along. You, you need to set the structure in place, and you need to encourage more participation uh, yeah. to, to take part. Because Thank that's you. the only way you can help with antisocial behavior, crime, all the mental health issues, and everything that's happening within our uh, communities. So Thank for me, you. I'm always supported, which is really good. Okay, inshallah. All right, Ibrahim. Well, really appreciating. Uh, thank you for your call. And, uh, you know, good luck with the final. I know it's, um, I, I think, next Wednesday. So uh, that should be a, a good victory. Uh, that will be a classic a victory for yourself. Okay, oh, we got another call on the line. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum as um, I would like to say I'm so happy and I'm really nice to see an Asian team that has done so well. Um, and I'm happy to see Yasin there. Um, and he's working really hard towards that team and everyone is team working together. Okay, that's, that's really inspiring. Here you go. You've got someone who's uh, egging you guys on uh, to go and win that cup final. It's something that our kids, I've got boys who would go look into footballs and stuff, and I'm like really happy to see a lot of things out there happening for our children yeah, and our no, people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you for your call. Um, and that's one of the main reasons why, for me, I, I, it's not about the victory. I mean, victory is, listen, it's, I always say it's icing on the cake. It's, it's like a lottery ticket there. But actually, the most important thing is engaging people to come in. Like you said, you know, nationality-wise, how many nationalities is going on? Um, and London is one of the most diverse cities in the world. It has got more than 50% non-English, uh, you know, li li living in here. So it is, it should be, any sports team should be multicultural. If it's not, there's a question mark, uh, you know, where, where are you? And I'm talking about inner city area. So the whole idea is about community cohesion, integration. This is what the mayor of London wants. This is what the central government want now. The idea is basically they, they want to integrate people. So if sports is the answer, football is the answer, why not? You know, and everyone needs to do their uh, a fair share, really. So I think it's really good to see people like yeah. Franco, uh, and yourself uh, working together to, to uh, do things. So, Shweb, just uh, tell us a little bit about badminton. You know, what's uh, London Sport you're doing on badminton um, side? Because obviously badminton is very big within the Bangladeshi co-community. Every weekend there's one tournament on, or another, which is really good for, in some ways, engaging. I see a lot of the older uh, players, I, I would say, a senior bunch of people that are re really involved in it. What's your uh, yeah, input um, on that? Uh, badminton session. We run bad badminton session every every um, every Monday from from eight to ten, two two hours. Um, we go. We have um, five 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 courts in Niham Leisure Centre. Um, so we got about thirty thirty people thirty people going there every Sunday playing um, badminton for two 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 hours, and. Um, um, uh, um, Sabir Bai, Sabir Bai, and um, Migdad Bai, and Mi, 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 um, Minhaj Bai. They 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 run in the badminton badminton session. They they're doing really 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 well. Okay. They're doing really good. It's really good. We've got to take a couple of callers. So I think we've got um, a couple more calls. Let's try and see who, who they are. Hello, Salam Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salam Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Who's who's calling, brother? What would you like to say? Oh hi, yeah. I was just uh, flicking through the channels and I saw brother Yasin there, who's a uh, what's it called? He's a quite inspiration in the community, and I see him doing the football thing. I just wanted to say, yeah, uh, uh, congratulations. And well, he's good listening to you. So the, go ahead. The good uh, community spirit. Okay. Well, th thank you for your call. And I also wanted to say thank you to the team and everyone. You know, sometimes it's nice to see the the people in the community doing the nice and good work in the Brilliant. community. Okay. Well, thank you for your call. Uh, let's see who else is online. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, who's calling, brother? What would you like to say? 
from Lono Sporty, ah. to my brother Shui up there, yes, in, and Franco there. Okay. What would you like to say? Do you play yeah, football? I'd like to give them a big thank you to Franco. He helped us and Yasin and my partner Shui is there. Yeah, come, um, yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, uh, really appreciating for your call. And I'm sure they're inspired by your words. And uh, ho hopefully they're going to get cracking on in, in the cup final. And I'm, I'm going on that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, thank you for your call. So, yeah, Franco, so tell us, um, what's the tactics um, for, for the cup final? Well, Is that secret? Hopefully the Bromley manager's not, if he's watching this, <laughs> we don't want to tell him to give it away. But yeah. when we, we like to mix it up, we can football, we can toughen up like there was a Stepney game semi-final, they're a bit of a physical team, not not bad physical, but physical because you need to be in football, especially Sunday league is not pass, pass, pass and stuff like that, conditions. So we can mix it and we also want to play football. The good thing is Milan Stadium is a good pitch. So we're going to play football, we're going to play our best and just we're just going to enjoy it. I'm going to tell, we do the, obviously we do our team so I'm just going to tell our players to enjoy it. It's a cup final, not many people get to, especially Sunday league as well. There's only two teams that are going to be in a cup yeah. final. So many other teams want to be there. So we're just well, let's see, we've got a clip uh, to, to, to show actually. So uh, let's see uh, what we have. Miz, move! You have a tendency of coming in the way. I got that. Take your time. Yes! Let's go! Yeah. Nice Move your hands, Wow. So, uh, what position do you play? Um, I, I started off with the team playing deep in midfield because we just needed a bit of solidity at the back and stuff like that. But now we've got better players, more thing, and more freedom. So I play number ten. I play Saturday football as well for my own team, which ends. I don't know, I've tried. I tried to play Sunday league because I want to enjoy it. Usually, I just used to play football on Sunday league level, just enjoy it. But I got a good relationship with Abu and I got a good relationship with oh. the manager, Mizuno Rahman, and he got, okay. asked me to be more involved and being more involved, and it's, it's really good. So, so which team do you play for on Saturdays? I play for a team called AFC Uckfield. It's in Sussex, it's quite far. Okay. They, we play county level, sim oh. so similar level to sport in Bengal. Okay. So it's a good level and I'm just happy to play football. That's brilliant. So Abu, you know, tell us, uh, what's the, the future uh, you know, for the football, to, uh, football team? For London Sport, if I believe the future is um, carry on what we're doing, obviously, and win the cup final. Um, and obviously, as you said previously, with regards to youth crime, try and prevent them from going out in the streets, going to crime, look into crime. What we want to do as London Sportifs is obviously get those kids off the streets, get them to come play football, enjoy themselves a bit. If they want to play cricket, perhaps that or badminton. Um, but all in all, what we want to do is um, in, the, in the future, I see us tr starting to take on younger, younger players so we can actually train them up to be players that will someday perhaps, inshallah, play professional as well. Brilliant. We've got a couple more callers. Uh, let, let's see who's online. Hello, Salaam Alaikum. Hello, Salaam Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salaam. Who, who's calling, brother? And what would you like to say? Yes, I just wanted to say um, to Yasin, um, uh, um, he's, he's uh, in the community, and I'd like to say he's um, our uh, Bangladeshi David Beckham. Oh. So keep it up. Thank you. you. Must go and see him play then one of these days. Didn't, didn't, didn't know that. Okay, well, thank you for your call. All right, let's see who, who else is online. Hello, Salaam Alaikum. Hello, Salaam Alaikum. Hello, Salaam Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salaam. My name is Radhuddin. I'm the keeper of London Sportives. All right, okay, here you go. Um, first of all, I want to congratulate my team to reach the final. And want to specifically say thanks to Franco and the Yasin for the effort they put it in, specifically for me as a keeper. Because at the beginning, as you already know, we started with losing games like yeah. 17, 13. We we played really bad at the beginning, but we put in all the effort because of Franco and Yasin. And uh, today we are in the final because of them. 
So I really appreciate it and Brilliant. thank you guys very much. I uh, never had the opportunity to talk to them face to face, but today I felt like this is a chance to t thank them. Well, you're, you're saying it now on national and worldwide online, uh, you know, so there you go. You know, everyone's going to hear this now. So I want to tell uh, everyone that we, we really worked hard because people don't know how much effort we put behind and how much train we have to, well, we have to go through a lot of training. So thank you very much for Spolona Sportif, even the owner and every single uh, member and the players to reach the final and play so well and put so much effort. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Well, that, OK, well, that, that's really good. So the um, future is really good for yourself. Right. Is there any plans for expansion, you, you know, having second team, youth teams? W w what's the plan? Um, we're planning to... Um... Well, tell us your future plans, so, so at least we know, like, you know, what's, what's forthcoming. Yeah, you, we, you we, we're planning to um, in, involve the young, um, young kids under 16. OK. So we, um, we are getting, get, uh, we're getting our, um, Abu and uh, Mijan and Franco they, to um, um, get the coaching, budget. coaching, co okay. coaching, coaching, um, qualification, qualifi qualification, okay. yeah. Then um, that, that, that would be really good. And uh, we're planning to um, we're planning to do a, a cricket um, under 16 cricket, um, cricket cricket team as well. Okay. Um, that's really that's, good. That's that's our plan for now. As, okay. Uh, and is that the same for cricket? Do, do, do football. You think? And with regards to football as well, yeah. we want to, currently the youngest players we've got is seven, ranges from 17 right up to 30 or maybe okay. even 35. But we are looking into um, perhaps in the near future um, getting under 16s or 50, like 12 to 16 year olds to come in, join the team, and then we can actually get them to play football. And if we like them, who knows, we'll get them. Yeah. The best one is to start with un under 15s, under 16 teams, because they're your immediate future to fill in the gaps and if they play for example if somebody plays under 15 you got under 16 17 18 that's four years of good uh, football development and they're ready to join in uh, to the first team that's a good structure then you can start up another under 12s who become under 15 by the time it's so I mean that's the two age groups that I would say in, in sports development wise we, we, would be really good well if, if you want to say a few few thank yous because we're going to wrap up now um, and uh, if, you, would you like to say last few words so supporters to come down and watch you? Um, yeah, I'd like to thank everyone um, that supported us thus far in London Sportive, especially the management, the players, especially our friends and families. Um, and also I'd like to, for them to come down on the 27th in Mylan Stadium, 7.30 kickoff, so we can actually get the cup home, inshallah. Okay, well listen, thank you guys for coming down, really appreciating, and good luck with the final. I, I think you guys deserve it this year. Um, I'll be making sure I'll keep an eye on it. And um, thank you all for jo joining us. Thank you to all the, all the callers. And uh, ho hope to catch up with you all soon. Asalaamu Alaikum.